Hi there, and welcome back to Hillbilly Storytime, Pentas Fells, with me, Adam Compton. Uh, today we're going to be resuming our uh, series on telling stories from the perspective of a uh, cheap Pentas or us. This story is going to be revolving around the concept of, uh, it's going to deal with communication between team members, uh, making sure that everything is well documented. Let me just tell the story and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. So, once upon a time, there was a company, let's call them Acme, just for completeness sake, that contracted Cheap Pentest R Us to perform an internal uh, network assessment. As always, three team members were chosen, Charles Ray, Billy Bob, and John Boy. Uh, well, everything seemed to be pretty straightforward in the contract. They were supposed to go on site, spend uh, close to about two weeks on the engagement, and uh, just give a report at the end, standard style of engagement. Uh, there was a couple of goals they were supposed to achieve, uh, other than just trying to find uh, security issues on the network. Standard sort of uh, internal pen test here. So they fly out to the customer, they are doing their pen test, everything's going great, they're in their rooms there doing their testing, everything's going good, finding good findings, uh, lots of data uh, going back and forth there. Uh, to make sure they have all the data in one place, they have a uh, online resource, well, a company-owned resource where they're storing all their findings, their write-ups, uh, any uh, proof of concept sort of stuff. They're typing it up, putting it in there so that when it comes time to write the report, they'll have it all in one location right there. Nice and simple. Uh, everything went great uh, for once. The fail wasn't here. The fail wasn't doing the pen test. Pen test went smoothly. Everything they needed was taken care of. Uh, they went in, they didn't take down any systems. They didn't uh, delete any accounts. They didn't uh, cause a building to burst into flames, whatever the scenario. They didn't cause any kind of issues. Well, end of engagement comes around. They get on their plane, they fly home. And then the next week they're there. They're like, okay, time to start on the report. Uh, Charles Ray goes in to start working on the report, goes to pull up their internal resource that had all their findings and data stored in it. Well, he went to look for it. He can't find it. Not sure what happened. He reaches out to the other team members, uh, Billy Bob and John Boy, and says, um, anybody know what happened here? Uh, I thought we had this here. Do I have the link wrong? What's going on? Sends it out to them, and they're like, uh, no, everything should be there. Well, uh, Billy Bob said everything should be there. Last time I looked, everything was good. And yeah, that's the right link. Let me double check here. Yeah. And Charles and uh, John Boyd chimes in. It's like, oh, uh, I think that might be on me. My bad. Um, I was just doing a little housekeeping and I went in to try to clean up some files uh, off my system, went into the repository where we store everything, anything that was older reports or older data in there. I just uh, according to our policy, we need to delete it, all that. So I went in and started deleting any that I was done with. And I think I might have selected one uh, engagement too many there and deleted our data. Sorry. So yeah, uh, all their data, all their notes that they collected, put into that one repository, was now deleted. Well, fine. You would think that you could go to backups and pull the data out of there. Well, since this is customer data, and if you back it up, it kind of goes against company policy to maintain the data beyond 30 days. And needless to say, data isn't backed up for them. So all the data is gone. Quick scramble. Uh, all the team members have to go through their notes, see if they have anything written down, if they had any temporary uh, documents they typed up on their system before they uploaded it to the primary repository. Luckily, they found everything that they needed to for that. There might be one screenshot or so that might be missing in there, but everything that they needed for this report to show all their work they did, to represent all the findings, they finally found. All this was done without the customer ever knowing about it. So, Cheap Pen Tester Us, they finally got all their data together, they collected it all up, uh, again, wrote up the report, sent it off to the customer, customer's happy, uh, end of the day, Good job, no problems. With a slight uh, side effect in there of everybody now being a little more aware of making sure you know what you're deleting, you have permission to delete it, stuff like that when you're going in there. So, a couple things to learn from this one. Quick little one here. One, 
make sure you're very sure what you're deleting when you delete it. You might always wonder why when you go delete, like empty your trash bin or whatever on Windows, on Mac, or whatever it says, are you sure? Yes. Are you positive because this is unretrievable? Yes. It makes you ver validate that yes, you know what you're doing before you delete it. That should be applied to everything that you delete, whether it's in a database, whether it's in a common repository, whatever it is. Before you delete something, double check it. Same thing we've talked about other things, like in woodworking, measure twice, cut once. It's hard to go back once you make that change, once you delete something, once you cut something off. Um, if you're working on a shared project with somebody else, don't do anything unilaterally like, oh, I think we're done with that, so let's go ahead and delete it, or let's go ahead and back that, or archive that off, or let's make a this sweeping change across everything that changes everything without letting the other team members know. So a couple of things like that, if you keep in mind, would go a long ways to prevent the kind of issues that these uh, poor, um, poor fools or whatever you want to refer to them as uh, had on this engagement. Luckily, customer didn't see any of this. It all happens behind the scenes, but it's still that kind of thing that comes up and uh, just affects pen testers periodically out there. Uh, so, like I said, thank you for uh, sitting through the story. It, hopefully it was uh, entertaining. Hopefully it can bring this to mind next time you go to try to delete something and you realize that, oh, maybe I shouldn't delete that. Whatever the scenario, thank you very much for sitting through this. And um, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you liked it, hit the dislike button if you disliked it. Uh, you can reach me out there on Twitter, you can reach me out here on comments, whatever the case is. But thank you all very much and you have a great day.